Uh, we open the season against the Colorado State Rams. That's August 31st. Uh, and then the next week, week two, we play the Michigan Wolverines in Ann Arbor. Could uh, be a that rematch one, of, of, the, of the final. Absolutely right. Um, if they beat Alabama and we beat Washington, that's who we're facing in the college football final. Uh, week three, we will play University of Texas San Antonio, the Roadrunners, yeah, on Ray, September 14th. Moore. Yep. Uh, that Ooh. game's at home. Then we play University of Louisiana Monroe at home the following week. Then we get into conference play. We open uh, on September 28th with Mississippi State. That is also that one's also a home game. Yeah, it certainly is. And then we go to Dallas uh, to play the Red River rivalry. Then we go we go back home. So a lot of home games early here um, against the Georgia Bulldogs. Then we take it on the road to Vanderbilt uh, at the end of October. We open up November against Florida at home. Then bringing back the rivalry, which I think at some point has to have an official name with Arkansas. Um, we play them November 16th. And then the week before Thanksgiving, uh, we play Kentucky at home and we finish the season at Kyle Field in College Station playing against Texas A&M, uh, which will now uh, you know, consistently be at the end of our schedule for that Thanksgiving game as it was uh, prior to A&M nice. joining the SEC. Uh, all yeah. right, go. Some What's some your gut check, Nick? Yeah, some takeaways. Um, I think that rivalry name for Arkansas should be called the Pig Roast. Right, shall with shall it. Shall about that. Pig Roast? I'm All right, it. cool. Yep. Sold. Uh, got a bye week before the Red River rivalry, so that'll be nice to, uh, you know, get our, our heads right and, and focus in and lock in because, I mean, we always know that that game can present a lot of different challenges, and, like, we're sitting here – this season with one loss on our, on our record. And that's the one loss. And honestly, I feel like we think we're a lot better than what that game showed. So having a bye week in front of there, gives us plenty of time to prepare and get our mental focus in there. Um, and then honestly, it, to go right off that game and go straight after Georgia, right after that, we could be riding a huge wave. Um, Cause it's not that hard of a schedule besides those two games, in my opinion. I mean, obviously Michigan preseason, but you can, foreseeably drop that Michigan game and run the table and still be fine and go to the playoff. I mean, at the end of the day, sure. you, win, you win your conference or in, that's how it is now with, with this new process. So foreseeably like that Michigan game really only matters for bragging rights and, you know, AP polls and stuff like that. But your conference is what really matters. If you're winning the sec, you know, you're, you're for sure getting into the playoff. So I like those, those two games being back to back, you know, for riding a high here, we take care of business. I mean, Vanderbilt will lay up Florida's in shambles, the pig roast. I mean, they weren't that good this season. <laughs> Kentucky's got some big transfers coming in this, this year. I feel like they've yeah. been doing really well in the transfer portal. So their team to watch out for. And then little brother, Oh, little brother, Texas A&M. Um, we'll see how that game goes. I mean, obviously there's going to be a lot of emotions from, from them as well. So I, I'm not going to consider that one a layup and it's at Kyle field. So, you know, you know, they're going to be practicing their, their midnight yells for, for weeks, maybe months. Um, but I'm excited. This is really fun. Yeah. I I'll say first three, the three of the first four games are, are quote unquote, knock on wood layups and they're all at home. So if we have Quinn, great. If we don't have Quinn, that's Arch Manning's first four games as a starter. Love to see that at home. Three games at home. They're all pretty <laughs> gimme games. At Michigan's going to be tough. You know, we'll see what happens with JJ McCarthy, right? Um, and then, oh, we have we have people in the comments. One guy's saying, I just noticed, OU will have an entirely new offensive line next season and quarterback. Well, OU's, I'll get into OU in a second. At Michigan, they're going to have a lot of changeover, right? They're going to, they could have a new quarterback. They could have multi, they're both their running backs go to the draft. They could have receivers gone, you know, offensive linemen, defensive linemen. And yes, they are a plug and play, pl plug and, uh, play program and they have great recruits coming in, but you don't even know what's going to be the deal with Harbaugh. He could be gone too. So if we're going to get Michigan, I'm glad we're getting Michigan. Um, even if we do see them, obviously, in the, in the college football playoff, knock on wood, I hope we do. Um, I'm glad we're getting them next year versus early on this year. Um, I, I think, you know, we saw that Bama team. We saw how that can be. This Bama team in the college football playoffs a lot different than the Bama team we saw. I'm not saying that we would have lost to this team. I'm just simply saying, like, they had a lot of change go on in Alabama, and it took them a little bit of time to get their sea legs. Michigan could be in a similar position next year with all the turnover they have going on. Mississippi State 
at home, great. Should be a win. But look, Jeff Levy was the offensive coordinator at Oklahoma, and he took the job as the head coach at Mississippi State. It's not a gimme game. Somewhat of like a, they're going to give us a tough time. He beat us this year on offense. So that, that's definitely something to watch out for. Oklahoma is going to have a lot of change, obviously, with Dylan Gabriel going, but Venables is a heck of a coach. They're going to be a heck of a team, and they're going to come. If they if they were so improved from Venables' first year to his second year, you have to anticipate they're going to be just as improved from the second year to his third year. Like We have to give him the same level of credit as we gave Sark. Georgia, tough as they could be the number one team next year at Vandy layup lines, Florida's in shambles. I'm with you there at Arkansas, the pig roast. Like, look, they have, they're going to have a lot of turnover. KJ Jefferson's gone. Raheem Sanders is gone. That we, we went there last time and lost. It's not a gimme game. It's a rivalry game. That could be, we could be in a position, you know, let's say best case scenario. We're running the table. We're undefeated. We're the number one team of the nation. They're playing. They're playing art to ruin our season. Arkansas at, at yeah. home. Kentucky, I'm glad you gave them credit. Not an easy game. Um, and then at a and the emotions are high, man. It's I think we have – it's a nice schedule in the sense that we – and I'll let you go to your reactions – that we don't play Auburn, we don't play Alabama or LSU, obviously, and we don't see Ole Miss. I'm glad – or Tennessee. Yeah. We, we missed those five teams. Yeah, it's kind of great. We got lucky. I mean, not to mention we're not playing Mizzou either, who's a former Mizzou, Big 12 all- team, which you, you could have understood if they had put them on our schedule. And obviously they ended the season ranked the number nine team in the country. So that would be remiss. Thank you for including them. I do want to say, while it's a nicer schedule and an easier SEC schedule, there are a few trap games in there. And, 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 and it's not a complete cakewalk. Yeah, I completely agree. I also think it's worth mentioning that, uh, and this is probably no new news to anyone, our schedule will never be easy ever. Oh yeah. It's a lot harder <laughs> than it is this year, but um, it is in consideration of the teams that we could be playing. Like you mentioned, Josh, yeah. um, we're, we're getting away with, you know, getting some of the, the worst teams in the sec in particular, if, if you get Vanderbilt, you know, you're only playing eight sec games, you get Vanderbilt, like you're happy about that one. Right. And yeah. a good timing to get, you know, a new, a new head coach at Mississippi state. Right. Florida and a and I will say, while those those programs are not in a good spot right now, they have a lot of talent on both of their rosters. Mm-hmm. And if we aren't playing clean football next season, which obviously we won't know until we get there, and I would hope that later in the season, fourth year in, Sar- in Sark's tenure, like we will be, um, will we, and because we've built that winning culture this year, um, those those games could get chippy. And it, yeah. look, I I know like Florida's at home, but it's uh they're always a tough team and billy napier like it, it, it can only get better i i would expect we'll see though um but i love the the opening point about colorado state utsa ulm um those are huge games i, I like where we're catching michigan but of course you know you look at the schedule and if georgia's doing their thing if oklahoma's doing their thing michigan's doing their thing i mean we we could feasibly if we run the table or even if we lose one or two of those games um have played three of the top 10 teams in the country. Like I don't expect Georgia to be lower than number eight at any point next season. They're going to bring back Beck. We know what they do on the defensive side. Um, they'll lose Bowers. They'll lose McConkey, but you know, they, they'll have guys that step up. Their running backs are young. Um, they're, they're always a good football team. And obviously Kirby smarts, one of the best coaches in college football. And if Harbaugh's there, he's one of the best coaches in college football as well. So um, from a strength of schedule at the top, as far as the best teams that we play, they're some of the best in college football. And I think those, those wins can really mean a lot. Um, but this is fun, man. I, that AM game at Kyle field, that's what the the season's all about really there. I mean, I know we, we want to get the, the Sooners back in the red river rivalry game, yeah. but to bring that, to. to bring that rivalry back will be a ton of fun. And I know every Aggie is already licking their chops because they, they want to spoil our season. Um, I hope we travel well. Last time I was, I, I was at that last game in 2012 uh, when we played in Kyle Field and we beat them on that uh, Justin Tucker field goal to win the game with with Case McCoy Jesus. at the helm. So um, I'll probably be back there again with a bunch of my family who are Aggies. And yeah, you know, it, it, the best part about that, I, I remember leaving that game. I think we were juniors in high school, and I was like, they don't have a band. Like they're they do have a <laughs> band, right? But they're a marching band. They don't they don't play right. music contemporary music while the game is going on and i was sitting in the away section next to all the longhorn next to the longhorn band and they were popping off and then 
the Longhorns win. They play all I do is win. And I was like, this is a vibe. This These is guys what are, I want to be a part of. The AM guys are suckers and losers. Um, <laughs> um, sorry. I will say, I think we're going to have four ranked games this year. Go. Games in Michigan, Oklahoma, yeah. Georgia, Kentucky. And there could be a potentially be a fifth at AM. We will yeah. see. And they're going to look to spoil the season. You mentioned the pig roast that, you know, for the number one team in the nation, and we're going to Arkansas. If we're the number one team in the nation, if we're any team in the nation, right, for our hopes of winning the, the SEC or going to the conference championship, the biggest roadblock is AM. That would that would make their entire lives to beat us on the first game back at Kyle Field to kick us out of whatever championship game we're looking to get into. Um, so be careful of that. Yeah. Um Honestly, I'm excited for these tailgates because at the pig roast, I mean, we got some good eating. You know, you could roast a pig. We have a gator roast. We do a gator roast. We can do a. That would be good. We can do a bulldog like, roast. It tastes like chicken. It's pretty good. All right, well, easy there. Yeah, uh, the, <laughs> some guy threw out in our comments. Uh, shout out to DJ Dog Thirty One, GA fans. Good luck finding hotel rooms on October nineteenth. ACL Formula One same weekend in Ooh. Austin. Coincidence? Hmm. I think not. If there is Good one thing, thing we I would boys that live in Austin. There's if there's one thing I would say, yeah, right. If there's one thing I would say is like I'm not worried about them. They gotta have no fans. Like that team's gonna come to play. They have pros, pros, pros on their team. Yeah. And if Beck is back, which he should be, like he's a guy that can go first overall. He played that well in the second half of the season to, to warrant that level of consideration next year. Yep. He, he's growing that much as a passer. So it, it's a really great point, but that team could easily like they don't need like yeah. to travel that that well, and they will. They'll figure it out. No, knowing that it's ACL, the Grand Prix, and us playing Georgia, which feasibly could be college game day, right? Like you wouldn't yeah. be surprised if it was. That be. might be the best Saturday throughout the entire football season, like just from an experience standpoint. So being that city, it's buzzing. Uber's yeah, amazing. we're we're gonna have to get down to Austin. The other thing I'll say is, um, from a part of the reason for Texas fans, what's so exciting about going to the SEC, obviously the quality of play across the board is so much better. Um, but traveling to some of these incredible venues and cities in the Southeast. And I feel like this year we kind of get shortchanged on that, right? Cause we just played Arkansas. We know what college station in Aggie land is like, and then, okay, fun. We get to go to Nashville and, and, and Vanderbilt. That's great. I don't think a lot of people are going to go to that game. Although it's a, it's a great city. Vanderbilt's a very pretty school, but we're excited about going to the Grove. We want to go to Death Valley. We want to go oh, to the yeah. Swamp. We want to go to Sanford Stadium and watch us play the the dogs at their place, right between the hedges. Like, so I think from that standpoint, like we're 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 aiming low this for this first year, right? Um, but it benefits us because we play so many games at home. 